It only happened once before in New York, but now Nike is bringing it to LA, a giant house-sized sneaker box here to celebrate Air Max Day. We have full access, so let's go take a look inside. We're here today to celebrate the launch of the Air Max Zero. This is sort of a mythical shoe in Nike history that was designed before the Air Max One. Built this shoe, no one's really seen before, and we're here to celebrate it and uh, share it with the public. You said designed before the Air Max One. Was this Tinker's doing as well since he designed the Air Max One? Tinker worked on a lot of the, the early Max products. There was a pile of sketches that he had worked on when he was conceiving the Max One. This was a, an early sketch that was too advanced to be built for when it was drawn. Yeah, we thought it would be a great way to celebrate Air Max Day and basically build the shoe the way it was intended to be built. The problem with this particular drawing and the reason that never, the shoe never got uh, built this way was that the entire package was too advanced for Nike at that time. It was clearly difficult just to do a midsole with a window in it. When these guys came and brought the drawing to me, I of course totally remembered the drawing. It was a lot of fun to sit down with some younger people in marketing and design and tell them the backstory. These guys were, were great just listening and even greater in reinterpreting the, the idea into the shoe that we see today. And I know that Graham already had some additional ideas on what to do to modernize this design. The next time I saw the shoe was when it was complete. I was pretty much blown away because of the modern style of construction, the new materials. Hats off to Graham and his team for still maintaining the character of the original. Well, that's hard to do, it's very hard to do. So that's a wrap for the day, guys. We're here at the Air Max box in LA, which is basically a giant house-sized sneaker box that Nike built to celebrate Air Max Day and their new slash old sneaker, the Air Max Zero. The shoe was actually designed back in 1985 and brought to life in 2015. I'm Jacques Slade. This is The Post Game, and we're out.